What's good, guys? Curry Bo Overlord here, and it has been a while. Um, I've just been busy with other things, including school, but, you know, with this new ban list, Ulpi got banned, which means for the first time in almost a year, I think actually over a year at this point, I need to make a new FTK combo, and I didn't really have to change much, but I thought I would just post this because, you know, i got to update it every time something changes. So, just the normal connector and old dolphin, just the assault, which is the basis of all the FTK combos that I, I make. It's just like, it's my assault FTK thing, that's what I like to do. Um, so, grab any warrior, really. Um, so I prefer Butter Spy, just a good target down of assault. Um, Summon Armageddon Knight by Cynic 4. I, What's important is that you send a Phoenix Blade, dump a uh, Plague Spreader, um, use Plague Spreader effect, then make Halk with the Plague Spreader, summon Red Rose, Red Rose and Armageddon go into Power Tool, uh, sorry, um, then you go Red Rose effect, you summon White Rose, then trigger Power Tool, reveal your 3 DDRs, grab one, uh, add back Divine Sword by banishing the two warriors, including Armageddon Knight, DDR back the Armageddon Knight, Armageddon Knight sends Zephyr, Zephyr's effect bounce the DDR, uh, which sends the armor to grave, then you trigger the Phoenix Blade in grave again, banishing Arma and another warrior, and you back, then go DDR, pitch the blade, summon Armageddon Knight, dump Summoner Monk, then you go overlay to Dugaris, Dugaris effect effect to summon back the Summoner Monk, um, then from here you make Saryuja, or I back that first, because you need it for the Summoner Monk pitch, but then you make Saryuja here, um, then you go, yeah, summon ferret off summon monk. And what ferret does is you can summon to zones uh, that a link monster points to with any monsters that's low total, and that, that level total is equal six. So we have three zones, and I summon level three, two, and one. Um, so then I use the Brotor and make Pisty, use the Remus and the Suryuja into Romulus, Romulus effect, add Dragon Ravine. Um, then you use Pisty effect. Summon a summon Omni back, Omni target Burn Man, pitching the Butter Spy, add Cyberstein. Uh, then you go Omni and Pisty and Romulus into Saryuja, then Monk and Burn Man into Power Tool, then uh, reveal your three Teleconnect Charging Cells. Um, use Saryuja effect to summon from hand, summon Cyberstein. Uh, then you go Link 2 into Reprodocus. Uh, Activate Ravine, activate, um, sorry, Rupidocus, uh, has to change Cyber Sign to a Psychic for you to put health and Church Excel on it. Then you go Ravine Effect, pitch an Incarnate Hand, send Tempest. Tempest Effect summon itself, then you go the link the rest into Appaloosa. Trigger Cyber Stein four times, summoning three Blaze Phoenixes and a, um, and this can be any fusion, but I prefer Invocation because you can use this as a fusion target. Um, and that is a total of, since you have, uh, Nine cards on field, if I can count. No, you, I can't count. But you can um, set any card in hand. Uh, and you just need one more warrior uh, to add back off the Phoenix Blade. Um, which is basically is, is actually the rest of this entire deck. So no matter what you're guaranteed, um, since you would be able to pitch it off Ravine or set a spell trap. And since the rest of the, the, rest of the deck is other warriors... Or spell traps, you're guaranteed to have the FTK with this setup. Because um, it inflicts 300 per card on the field. So um, 300 times 9 is 27. Do that three times. That is 2700 times 3. So 8100 damage, which is the FTK. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Glad I could update you guys on this. Uh, this is Kriba Overlord signing out. Peace.